So what? So what type of trauma, like, was it that you was like dealing with before you just came into your walk? If you don't mind sharing. Okay, I'm gonna start with the biggest thing that I still face today: being muzzled in a household that did not understand my intellect, wow. my perspective, my mindset. Wow. Now, of course, now I understand that God has called me to operate in the office of a prophet. Come on. But I didn't know that then, mm -hmm. and because I didn't know that then. I would speak, but I wasn't prepared to deal with the backlash of what happens when you're speaking the truth according to what God has told you to speak. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my trauma was verbal abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, and it was it was psychological trauma. Mm -hmm. And it kept me in a cycle for so long. And eventually, what trauma does is it pushes you into this state of fight or flight. Wow. You're either going to fight to figure out what's going on, why it's happening, how it's happening, when, and so that you can notice it and prevent it from happening or progressing into something further, mm -hmm. or you're going to flight, which means to run from it, to run away from the trauma, to hide from these things, to suppress yourself with drugs, with men, with sex, with alcohol, partying. You're wow. either going to go that direction or to the left. And neither of the directions are easy because you don't know. Mm -hmm. So for me, the most trauma that I experienced was the attack against my voice. It's so powerful. I didn't even know. I didn't know I was me. So a lot of times we don't think that our words are holding weight. Man. We don't wow. think that it's really hitting people. But a lot of times you're saying things that hit people in their core. But because they lack accountability, their response is to project that anger and that insecurity and that doubt onto you mm -hmm. instead of mm -hmm. accepting you know responsibility yeah so for me it was it was that and god i remember like one time god was teaching me this this picture came up and girl it was a slave picture and they had a black woman with a muzzle on her mouth wow and when I the slave it. would interfere with what the authority figure would say they would put a muzzle on, on their, their mouth, mouth to stop them from speaking out and i felt mm -hmm. like i was walking with a muzzle in my mouth for wow. so long wow. and it gets to a point to where you have to let god remove the muzzle because you cannot you can't walk in ministry or be a vessel and not be a mouthpiece for god just even you happen to go through that that when you say using your mouth and being muzzle that's because it's a your the tongue whole weight like and death, life and death is in the power of your tongue, tongue. So if the enemy can get you to hush. hush and be quiet and move back and shut up, then the whole plan that God wants for you, everything that you have in line with, could definitely like be hindered in that 